who have brought a lot of change to the state in just a short time. And now you can go anywhere from getting your nails done to getting a tattoo to going to the gym. Folks are eager to get out and we here explored it all. So this morning it was like we opened for the first time. We were excited. Our community was excited. Months of waiting, preparing and Zoom calls are now over for gym goers and athletes at Triton Athletics in Wallingford. Keep moving through. Keep moving through. We all did this together uh, and I can't tell you I can't thank them enough for their support. They helped me through this whole thing as much as I helped them. And then you got 30 alternating leg raises. You guys go with the alternating leg raises. Boxes 14 feet apart, gym goers can now practice both fitness and social distancing at the same time, cleaning and sanitizing equipment between each class. We've been full all day. Um, we've had athletes from 5.30 a.m. this morning until we're standing here right now. So we're not going to stop until this class is over tonight. So that'll be it. So it's been awesome. A wide range of businesses are opening today with limited capacity. And right down the street, Tattoo International. They're booking up appointments for their tattooers fast. Our customers were disappointed and uh, anxious and ready to get back to their projects. In business for 30 years, owner Mark Savakis says he's never had to close his doors until COVID-19. And in his shop today, 18-year-old Kristen Parker. Her birthday was in May. She was getting her first tattoo to celebrate. Well, I kept trying to talk my parents into letting me get it before I was 18. And they were like, oh, you have to wait. We'll get it on your birthday. So I was really excited for my birthday to get it, and then everything was closed. Now back open. The working stations are spread apart. Friends and family are not allowed to accompany you. And as for cleaning the equipment, it's always been a top priority. The tools have always been as safe and sanitary as we can make it. Everything is single service and disposable these days, and that eliminates any problems that you could that you might run across. The biggest difference is the flow of traffic for us. We can't allow our customers to just come in in groups anymore. In Wallingford, Rachel Piscatelli, Fox 61 News.